Hi everyone, in this episode we're going to be adding a third person camera. So how I'd like it to work is that when the character is standing still, moving the mouse will just orbit the camera around the player. And then if you move, uh, the character will move off in the direction of the camera. And while you're moving, if you move the camera, then that will actually rotate the character as well. By the way, I'm going to be referring to the camera's rotation on the x-axis as its pitch, and the rotation on the y-axis as the yaw. Alright, before we begin here, I'd just like to do a tiny bit of housekeeping. I'm going to delete the backup blend file that was created, and just create a new folder for the character. I'm going to store the character's materials, the model itself, and the animator controller, all in that one folder. And then you're going to create a new folder for scripts and put the player controller script in there. And one last folder uh, for the scenes and I'm going to put the scene file in there. All right, so open up the scripts folder and in here we're going to create a new C sharp script called maybe third person camera. And we can open that up. And at the top, let's create two floats one for the yaw and one for the pitch. I can delete the start method, we don't need that. So each frame we want to update the yaw and the pitch based on the mouse input. So we can say yaw plus equals uh, input dot get axis and this is the horizontal mouse movement, so mouse x. And then for pitch we are actually going to be subtracting, unless you of course want the y-axis to be inverted, we'll be subtracting input dot get axis mouse y. Alright, we'll probably want to multiply this by some uh, sensitivity factor, so let's create a public float mouse sensitivity. I'll give that a default value of say 10, and we can just multiply the both of these mouse sensitivity and mouse sensitivity. All right, so then let's create a vector three called target rotation. So the pitch is the x-axis and the yaw is the y-axis. We'll worry about uh, applying some smoothing in a moment. For now, let's just directly set transform.euler angles to the target rotation. Let's save this and uh, Find our camera, just apply the third person script to that. Let's press play. So we can move the mouse up and down and left and right, and that seems to work. Okay. Let's now get it actually rotating around a target object. So we can create a public transform. We'll call this the target. And we also want to know how far the camera should be from the target. So let's create a public float. I uh, call this distance from target. So that equal to two by default. So here we can simply say transform dot position is equal to the target's position minus our own forward uh, direction multiplied by the distance that we want to maintain from the target. Okay, so uh, let's say that the character is the target, so we'll drag that into the slot there, and press play. So we're now moving around the target. Um, we're currently rotating around his feet, so uh, let's actually create a empty child of our character and we'll call this the target look or something to that effect. And let's place this higher up, sort of around the shoulders or the chest, and apply that instead as the target. All right, so if we try this out now, it should behave a little better. Uh, one problem, of course, is that we can currently tumble right over the player's head and also go through the ground. So we need to put some clamp on the minimum and maximum pitch. So let's look at our camera quickly. Probably, if we just rotate this around the x-axis, 
we don't want it to be able to go lower than maybe negative 40 degrees and probably not much higher than say 85 degrees let's go with that for now so in the script here we can either create two public floats called uh, pitch min and pitch max what i usually prefer to do for a sort of min max variable is just to use a vector 2 you can call this pitch min max and then obviously just the x value is the min value and then the y value is the max value set this equal to a new vector 2 so for the minimum that will be negative 40 and the maximum 85 okay so now we just need to clamp our actual pitch variable so pitch is equal to mathf.clamp we pass in our pitch value and then the min value which is of course pitch min max dot x and then our max value pitch min max dot y okay let's save that and give it a quick try so now we're clamped at 85 degrees and at negative 40 degrees great so let's quickly add some smoothing to the look rotation so like last episode we're going to be using the smooth damp method for our smoothing except instead of using it for a simple float variable we're going to be using it for a vector 3 so let's create a public float I'll call this uh, rotation smooth time I'm just going to set this to about 1.2 and then we're also going to need a vector 3 for our rotation smooth velocity and one more vector 3 for our current rotation all right so now we're going to say current rotation is equal to vector 3 dot smooth damp and we'll pass in the current rotation our target will be what we have here for target rotation so we can just copy that our current velocity so we say ref rotation smooth velocity and then our rotation smooth time all right we can get rid of this line we no longer need that and we'll set transformed at Euler angles to current rotation so let's save that and give it a try okay so that is a lot of smoothing happening at the moment um, I actually meant to set this to 0.12 So now we can see this is a lot more responsive. Very nice. I'm just going to quickly update this in the script to what I wanted it to be, 0.12. All right, so the last thing I want to do in the camera script for now is just uh, change this update method to be a late update method, which just means it will be called after all the other update methods. And uh, the advantage of that is that the target's position will definitely have been set so then we'll be setting the camera's position to the correct location all right let's save that and then I would like to go into the player controller and just get the player rotating with the camera so uh, let's get a reference to the camera transform called camera T so in the start method here we can say camera T is equal to camera dot main dot transform and now where we're setting our target rotation we're just going to add on to that camera t dot euler angles dot y all right so we can save and in unity i'm just going to make my game window a little bit bigger and let's grab the main camera and just bring it closer to the to the player by default and i'd also like to tone down the sensitivity a little bit maybe set that to five all right so as long as we're not moving the camera is just going to orbit the player but as soon as we start moving the player will move off in the direction of the camera and while we're moving if we move the camera the player will rotate with the camera all right that's nice it might be a good idea to have the ability to lock and hide the cursor when we enter play mode Otherwise, when we're trying to look around, the uh, mouse is sort of going off the edge of the screen here. So 
I'm going to quickly come back to the camera script and add a public bool called lock cursor and just bring our start method back. So if lock cursor, then we'll say cursor dot lock state is equal to cursor lock mode dot locked and cursor dot visible is equal to false. So now if we go into the camera and enable that bool and enter play mode, the, the uh, cursor is now locked and hidden and we can get it back by pressing escape and then we just have to move the mouse out of the game window and it will appear. All right, so that's everything for now. Uh, until next episode, cheers.